Well, Iran has been an adversary of the United States since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Uh, the United States made a coup in Iran in 1953. Uh, it sent in the CIA and conspired with right-wing Iranian generals. Uh, and um, this was in response to a popular movement in Iran to nationalize Iranian petroleum. And since then, the United States has been at daggers drawn with Iran. In the 1980s, Iraq invaded Iran. The United States sided with Iraq. Then in the 90s, you know, the Clinton administration was an unusually peaceful period in the 1990s in American history. I don't think there was any significant American military action at that time. Then President Bush, uh, George W. Bush, invaded Iraq in 2003. And Iraq had been under Sunni Arab rule, uh, under the Ba'ath party of Saddam Hussein. Uh, and it was a bulwark against Shiite Iran and two big branches of Islam, Sunni and Shiite. Uh, the Iraqi ruling class had been uh, Sunni, the Iranian government's very heavily Shiite. They had had a war. Now the Bush administration overthrew the government of Iraq. And the Bush administration, whether by design or by accident, brought the Shiites of Iraq to power. And the Shiites of Iraq have warm relations and feelings towards Iran on the whole. So Iran gained an ally in the region of Iraq where it had been an enemy under Saddam Hussein and the Sunni elite. Barack Obama came to power campaigning against the Iraq war, which turned into a fiasco. And, and saying he would negotiate with Iran. So Obama tried to deal with the threat of an Iranian nuclear program, which was a civilian program, but everybody was afraid one day you'd wake up and the Iranians had decided to take it military. As I said, the Trump administration came in convinced that this was a very partial uh, victory, if one at all, uh, that they, they felt that the nuclear deal didn't go far enough. Uh, and so that's uh, kind of the potted history of, of the relationship between the two countries uh, up to this point.